What's up, Alabama fans? Stacy Blackwood here from the Tide Talk Podcast to talk about the big win that Alabama was able to get on the hardwood yesterday against the South Carolina Gamecocks. They have now won five of six in SEC play, so they're coming on strong. They're closing the season hot. Hopefully they can continue that for the final two games of the regular season. We're going to talk about that here in just a minute. But first off, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give this video a huge thumbs up. And while you're at it, jump in the comment section and answer today's question. Will Alabama win its final two regular season games? Uh, why for yes, in for no. And as always, if you want to expand on your answer, please do there in the comment section. Also, like I said, make sure you subscribe. We're nearing 1,000 subscribers. We want to reach that goal. We're well over 600. So help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers so we can continue to deliver great content on Alabama athletics. All right, let's just talk about this Hoops teams for just a couple minutes. Uh, they're coming on strong. Like I said, they won five of six. So they're they're getting hot at the right time. You. You know, a lot of fans were kind of upset about the way the, the middle and the start of the uh, SEC play was for the Hoops team. And, of course, it was not great, but they, they found their, their rhythm here late in the season. And hopefully they can continue that for the final two games, then in the SEC tournament and also there in the NCAA tournament where it really matters. So they're, they're still chasing the five seed right now in the NCAA tournament. So they have a chance to have a really good seed once again. And it would be back-to-back -back seasons of, of a five seed or better for this Crimson Tide team. And that would be the first time in 30 years. So uh, they're, they're coming on at the right time. They're playing great. JQ has come on strong the last two games. He dropped 19 against Vanderbilt. Uh, he had 22 against South Carolina. So he's he's hovering around averaging 20 points a game over the last couple of contests. He's finally found his three-point shot. I think he made four or five against South Carolina. He was three or three against Vanderbilt. So when he's hitting that outside shot, we all know how great he is at getting to the basket and finishing at the rim. So if he can find his shot deep, this that makes this album basketball team that much more difficult to defend. Keon Ellis is also a guy that's coming on strong. He's averaged around 18 points over his last three games, around seven rebounds. So if he can continue that type of effort, uh, this album of basketball team is going to be hard to, to defend. But Speaking of defending, that's where it all matters for Alabama. If they can find a way to play better defense, they are going to be a team that is difficult to put out when it gets to the NCAA tournament. So we know what kind of offensive team they are. I've talked about JQ. I've talked about Keon. J.D. Davidson is a freshman who's starting to, to – you know, put double-digit points up consistently here at the back half of the SEC schedule. Uh, we know what Jaden Shackford is. He's capable of dropping 20 or 30 at any point in time. So this team is a dangerous team offensively, and if they can find their defensive effort consistently, they're going to be a hard team to put out. All right, so they finish at home. Uh, against Texas A&M on Wednesday, and then the last regular season game of the SEC season is at LSU on Saturday. So they they have great opportunities here to finish the SEC schedule strong. They're capable of beating both of these teams. Uh, they've already beaten LSU once at home this season. It's going to be a little more difficult in their place there in Baton Rouge, but I think they can go there and get that win. So I think they have a great shot. The way they're playing right now, the defensive effort is better, and it looks like they're starting to find their stroke from the three-point line. If they can close out – this, the SEC schedule with these last two wins, that means they would finish the SEC schedule winning seven of the last eight. So that would be big heading into SEC tournament and, of course, the NCAA tournament. So I'm excited to see how this team finishes. A lot to look forward to. We're going to be looking at this basketball team more to come over the next few days. So we're excited about that. We're excited about the softball team. They are off to a fantastic start. I think they have run ruled about seven opponents already. So they, they're just – they're unstoppable right now. The baseball team, they dropped the first two games – there in Austin against the number one Texas Longhorns, but they're playing them tough. It shows that Brad Bohannon is building a really solid baseball program, so we're excited about that as well. So we're, we're, there's, football is going to be starting practice here in just a couple weeks uh, in, in preparation for the A-Day game. So there's a lot to talk about here when it comes to Alabama athletics, and we're going to do that here at the Todd Talk Podcast. But that's going to wrap up this video. Like I said, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give this video a huge thumbs up, and while you're at it, jump in the comments, answer today's question, will Alabama close out the regular season with two wins against Texas A&M and LSU on the hardwood? Why for yes, in for no, and as always, expand on your answer. That's going to wrap up today's episode. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. Roll Tide.